God Send Ministry International presents Believer's Baptism Baptism as a Commandment And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Then Peter said to them, Repent. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. When one receives Christ as Lord and Savior, he is commanded to be baptized in water upon repenting and believing in Jesus for salvation. All disciples of Jesus are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, which is Jesus. Water baptism is the outward public testimony that you belong to Christ. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is the evidence of the power to live the Christian life. The meaning of water baptism. The like figure wherein too even baptism does also save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized unto Jesus were baptized unto his death? Therefore, as we are buried with him by baptism unto death, like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Buried with him in baptism, in which you will also were raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. Water baptism is the outward declaration of the inward transformation that you have experienced Jesus and possess his life inside of you. You must believe to be baptized, but you cannot be baptized to be saved without faith in Jesus. No ritual can save you. Water baptism only comes into play after you have received Jesus Christ. Water baptism represents dying to the former life of sin and selfishness. You accept death when you go down into the water. You come out of the water to a new life of righteousness. Therefore, when Jesus died, you died. But as Jesus rose from the dead, you rise with his life. Baptism tells the world that you belong to Christ and are identified with him in every way. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now just a little note here. If you're in a situation and you don't have access to say a lake or a stream or whatever, well, just get a, the biggest bowl you can find. Let somebody stand in it and pour the water on top of their head. Baptism is a ritual of faith, but the real work starts on the inside. You believe on Jesus, that's an inward spiritual work that can't die. But the water baptism is important because it shows publicly that you love your God, that you believe in Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you in videos to come. Bye-bye.